Yeah, you know who it is. If you don't, it's your boy Shake. So what up, basketball fans? You know who it is. If you don't, it's your boy Shake. And this video is all about NBA 2K13 and the glitches. And every single year, NBA 2K basketball is predominantly my favorite game. For at least the last four years, going on five years now, I've loved every 2K basketball game. Glitches and all. And every single year, including NBA 2K12, as much as I was the biggest critic as I possibly could be for that game, I still loved it. I still played it all the time. I created at least four my player characters and took them through at least four seasons. And so I really enjoyed playing the series. Some of you guys might say 2K12 was trash, and I could still in some ways agree with you, but I loved the game because it's 2K basketball. And it's basketball. 2K on their worst day is still better than any other company putting out basketball games. So 2K12, regardless of how many problems that it had, I still found it to be one of my most enjoyable games. And I played it throughout the entire year. Frustrating and all. <laughs> but at the same time, every single year, one of the biggest legacy issues that overshadow the the fun factor in the overall experience in the 2k series is the glitches. glitches and a lot of you guys that have been playing the game every single year could probably go back and remember all the problems that existed all you'd have to do is youtube glitch nba 2k fill in the blank okay so i'm gonna go through a quick list of all the glitches that you guys have been sending me some of which i've never experienced myself some of which I know of and I would experience if I made certain mistakes. But I'm going to go ahead and briefly talk about these glitches. And hopefully these are all addressed when the new patch comes out. So the first glitch I want to touch on is the view share media freeze. That's a problem. What it is is basically when you save an instant replay in your my career season. For some reason and for some people I'm one of them my game freezes all of the time every single time i save a replay for my career if i save the replay it's going to freeze when i try to view the replay my player closet freeze not exactly sure the details of this of this particular glitch but i've heard it several times and any glitch that i mention in this video i only mention it because i've heard of it at least twice or more so the my player closet freeze I'm not exactly sure what's happening I know it exists lots of people have been explaining to me that when they go into their closet make changes and they come out their game freezes the my career simulate after the all-star game to the all the way throughout the playoffs that is a huge problem that is a glitch where if you actually attempt to play the all-star game after the all-star game it's been simulating all the way to the end of the season so a lot of you guys are experiencing that as well. And if that seems to be a major problem, my strong suggestion would be to stop playing when you get to the All-Star game. If you want to go on beyond that, that's up to you. Me, personally, I'll probably just be on the blacktop until the patch comes out. The next glitch comes from my buddy D-Man. He could not play any regular teams or use any regular teams. Um, he's one of two people that I know of that's had that same problem. I'm not sure if it's just an Xbox issue. Maybe there's some kind of corrupted file. But nonetheless, uh, his game, he actually had to get a new copy of NBA 2K13. Save it to his hard drive just so he could use regular teams again. Every time he would jump into a team up or use any regular teams online or even in his my career mode the game would eventually just freeze or kick him out so that's another glitch one other glitch is that they don't call your name out they only call your nicknames I don't know if that's really a glitch a lot of people have been telling me that this is a glitch I don't know maybe in, in some to some degree I might believe that this is the way they wanted to make the game this year so them not calling your name out hopefully they could fix that in the patch you know it'd be great to see but I'm I'm pretty sure that this is the way it's gonna stay but 
if they could fix that that would be a huge improvement the next glitch is the nike id shoe that never saves especially in blacktop it switches all the time that's another glitch that i'm sure all of you guys are fully aware of at this point when you customize your own shoe and which is one of their great features this year the one that they pushed so hard for everybody to to latch on to the game doesn't really work properly because at least the first game you'll be running around with some no-name brand uh, 2k sneakers and then your actual customized shoes will come back the next you know for the next game so that's always a problem it just kind of takes some of the fun out of customizing shoes the next glitch if you play offline you get skill points and then it doesn't convert back to VC once you go back online that's a terrible glitch a lot of people are pissed off if that happens um, I really don't know what to say to some people lots of people have actually lost money in that regard I truly hope that is adjusted in the next patch the next glitch saving a game in my career mode can definitely corrupt your file and erase your my career player so try not to do that try not to save any any actual games I'm still saving my own games on a separate hard drive so this way I have a, a duplicate season and if anything crazy happens I can just load it up from my hard drive so I strongly recommend you guys do not save any my career games in the middle of gameplay another glitch comes from several people one of which my buddy Azure effect Commissioner Zor. if you create multiple my career players sometimes it splits you have a a player one of the players that you've created will be your my career player and the first player you've created will be the person that you use in the blacktop so that's also a major issue some people have not been able to convert back i've actually heard that people are, are seeing two separate players at the title screen <laughs> so that's a major issue too one big glitch that drives me up the wall because it's my favorite dunk package there are dunks that don't count as a basket you'll actually dunk the ball through the hoop and I'll actually provide some gameplay footage for you guys to see here and I'll prove it to you you can see as my players actually dunk the ball and it goes through the hoop and it doesn't count as a basket this happens so often in particular dunk packages the main dunk package is the back scratchers hang on the rim dunk package so if you see that one in there try not to choose it some people think that you've missed a dunk or you've gotten blocked that is not the case the, the ball just doesn't register with that animation we've also seen the invisible scoreboard the invisible ball and the invisible teammate grade you know glitch so if you've seen that one those are minor glitches I'm sure they can fix those as well I've also seen a glitch where the ref won't inbound the ball that seems to be a pretty you know reoccurring glitch every year in the 2k series no play vision art and running plays that particular glitch is and has already been uh, mentioned that it has been a you know a glitch that has been recognized and they are going to be working on that one so hopefully play vision art and running plays will will come back after the patch and also this last one i'm not exactly sure if this is a glitch this would make a huge improvement to the blacktop especially the the three on three blacktop you're unable to block dunks almost impossible I've seen it happen once I've seen players from centers uh, literally every every walk of life as far as the different types of players that play on the basketball court go entire games I can go an entire night five or six blacktop games and not see one block shot for some reason blocking is almost non-existent on the three on three blacktop so go figure I'm not sure if it's a, if it's a real glitch but they really need to adjust the three on three blacktop gameplay they need to adjust the difficulty they need to adjust the blocking that would make that mode tremendously better so if you have some glitches that i haven't mentioned in this video definitely write some down in the comments and i again i will try my best to make sure the right people see the problems that you guys are experiencing it's your boy shake i'll holla at you, you dudes later, later.